Yes, Yum 2 is the most recent game I played in this thing. Hey there on SoCal playing Yum 2, 57 out of something. We're somewhere here. Oh yeah, last time we did, we did the thing. I don't know, man. Circle K! Balling Von Malding. Oh man. Oh, it's a house. Circle K. That's like that's like a, a grocery store, not a grocery store, but like a pharmacy, I think, maybe. No, yeah, it's the pharmacy in uh, in uh, Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure. Well, anyways, I got a torch that's slightly growing my circle of vision. <laughs> I appreciate the thought, but I don't know if I appreciate the gimmick. Oh boy! All right, so it's darkness. That old friend, uh, come to talk with us again. Uh, it could stay on its own, honestly. I'm just kind of doing a big jump there. I regret it. All right, I don't got any time. So strictly speaking, I can take as long as I want to explore the place. Okay, here you can just kind of bob. Ah, I over jump. Okay, well you know what? It's fine. We're just do it some more. I don't know where the platform was. Why does it feel like I'm doing this progressively worse and worse with each fall? I don't know. Can't wait to go through time uh, using this torch and electrolocation. So yeah, like there's this thing where you, you just kind of want to go where like you, like, like the, the stretchy rafters go. Alright, I wanna get down to get my torch, but I can't from here. There's a midpoint. Okay, this might be a short level. Just following my coins here. Well, I would, but I want to grab this torch and rise up, raise the stakes, become an entrepreneur, and eat some stakes. That's what holding a torch means, probably. You heard a song. It seems kind of hard to die. But, I don't want to challenge the level on that. I got up here where you can bop these. Oh, P-Switch. Okay, P-Switch does not... Oh, okay, and there's a pit you can fall in. I didn't know! I figured I would take a chance. I thought it was a weird looking pit. I pressed a P-Switch. I... look, man. I don't want to overthink it. But, I also didn't want to think it. So, is... okay, so maybe I should go over to the right and see where it is I might be interested in using a P-switch. I don't know if it's gonna be, like, marked in any way. Yeah, yeah, there's a big wall here. It's hard to miss, so okay, well... Now I have a reason to do what I wanna do with you. Kinda stuck in a basement. And here's a door. And then I fell through, you won't see me no more. You get over there, but then like, I need to go back. Oh, I just did a big jump there. I'm so good. Because, okay, so now here you got the spin jump, the spin jump, the P-switch. Can you double grab? You sure can. It actually kind of double grabbed real easy. So I was just wondering, like, is the is the gimmick that then you need to redo the level, but like using the very bad spotlight when you're just on your own? Well, it turns out the level is way nicer than that. I don't know if it's on purpose, but it is. All right, so I don't know if I need a race here. No, there's pretty much one choice, and it's this door. All right. Uh, wow, the world kind of went kind of glitchy there when I bounced on that note originally. Alright, there's a switch somewhere. I'm somewhere. Being somewhere is fun. Yeah, uh, those are switch blocks. Eh, what am I... Like, there's not a whole ton of things here. Um, yeah, I can do that. There's nothing else. There's very little you can interact. Pressing all the buttons. Nothing doing. Oh, there it is! Wow, I... <laughs> wow, really I did that? 
Okay, that's my fault. That is entirely 100% my fault. Switch hidden in plain sight. Well, not in plain sight, but in the plain middle. Go. It's honestly extremely inoffensive. As soon as level go. Yeah, there's a switch right here. I just never jumped there. Like, I don't know. I, I can't really explain it. I didn't do a good job exploring. And look at that. Yeah, now that you have that going, you know, you can, like, do things. Like, look what's up there. And. God damn it. Um. Okay, okay, okay. So now I should be able to just press up and fall on my head. Nope, it's on the other side. Just. <sighs> the blind leading the blind here. And I managed to get a despawn somehow. This is not great. <laughs> All right, hey, so let's try this again. Woo, I'm all the way here. Has it respawned? It sure has. I wonder if the trick is like, how? Like, how does it disappear? That's what I don't understand. Like, how do I make it disappear? Does it get gobbled up by the platform? Like, I don't get it. All right, should be back. So, like, what if I just leave this here? Will I... That's pretty cool, leaving it here. Like, will I be able to see up there? I will. All right. So that's how you're supposed to do this. Got it. Just leave it up there. It's right next to this post, so you know where the switch is gonna be. All right, if I put it there... Yeah, I can keep an eye on things. Here we go. So yeah, I love how the light is cutting through the score. Oh shoot. That's kind of a neat look. Alright. Yeah, see I just made this harder for myself. I wasn't thinking. I was just doing... without thinking. That's the result of that. Okay, so... well... Clearly it wants that to happen. Now I have this tiny little baby spotlight on me. And it's scary. You know? It's, it's very scary. So, oh, oh. Oh, do you think I can hit that? I think that's the goal. I don't think I, I don't know if I can. Oh, I see. You do this. So you go here. You do this. And you can fall down here. I don't know if that's... Yeah, P-Switch. There you go. That's what everyone wants for breakfast. Alright, one day I'll do this right. Maybe. I didn't be lost a little bit. Sorry. Here we go. Here we go. Hit the switch. The light kind of goes crazy a little bit. Here's the smoke. We don't want it. I'm kind of crawling my way forward a little bit. I ain't in no rush, but I'm gonna race my HUD. Oh. Well, might need to go fast here. Eliminate the universe and enter the darkness. Oh jeez! Oh jeez! <laughs> oh no! It's because I put the the toil. I abandoned the rope. The rope. I abandoned the torch on old wood and all wooden boxes. And I set the house on fire. And all the ghosts are running away. They're scared. I destroyed their home. Oh no! There's a very tragic story being told now! <laughs> oh man, I don't know what Gorgon Rot means, but here we go. That was a pretty sweet level. Whoops, sorry, Shell. Mario ate a snake, not for honor. <laughs> Alright. There's a Gorgon. Oof. Well, oh. Alright, this type of death. So, okay, so it doesn't work on that. Alright, so, immediately, it's because I'm being asked to do something like that. Got it. Wow, this is kind of a harsh start, but here we go. Look at that. Beautiful. Beautiful. 
kinda. Wait, how does that? No, yeah, I just need to get there and spin jump. That's that's all. It's not that scary. All right, doing it. Doing it. Kick that fish. All right, this is going pretty good. Oh, I'll get the gist of it. I'm not too afraid. It's just that, yeah, you need to. I'm good at like aiming in midair to stomp. This is a slightly different talent. There we go. Yeah, look at that. Don't, oh, what? Oh. So I need to like... Yeah, I need to believe in myself to be able to do that. Um... There we go. Yeah, that's all. That's really clever. Uh, oh, what? And then I died instantly? Why? Um, alright, if you get hurt, I guess, because you absolutely need Gorgon's power. Just for you. You're just, like, conveniently auto-killed if you lose your... your superpowers. I believe it. This is so cool. There we go, yeah. Now, the fun thing is that you got, like, plenty of time, dang it, to, uh, react? Because you're always just standing on a rock. Ah, I stopped running! I don't know why. I really don't know. I legitimately do not know. Yeah, yeah, as soon as I get hurt. Dude, why are you not? A little bit annoying. Dude, what? Alright. Hmm. Once again. Dude! Ah, dude! Uh. Hard. Oh wow, it's right at the end constantly too. Yeah, that's what I thought. He got a made a little hurdle so that he would know the jump. Okay, that's what I thought, but I reacted too late. This is really cool. Really unusual. I don't know what any of this. Oh, I'm supposed to. I need to plug in holes, I think. Okay, this is wild. That's not far enough. Ah, uh, maybe? God damn, like this... Uh, that's not... That's honestly really clever. Um... What? No, what did I break? Mess it up. Yeah, here you need to make sure you get that guy. So that can happen. Do, 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 I, I, mmm, beaten. But you do need to be precise. Okay, that's kind of clever, honestly. Is that what I wanted to do? I have no idea. I have... okay, well... Um, happen. Okay, so there we go, I just wasn't fast enough. Dang it! Ugh. Like, the reason why I was playing weird around these 
because I figured they, you know, that they would wake up. But it doesn't look like it. Oh, you can't. <laughs> now three puzzles for three sisters. All right, I'm I'm surprised you can't just petrify it. It's a sprite. What does this mean? So, okay. What is going on here for three sisters? Can I bring this with these. I cannot bring them back. I can petrify. Doesn't do much. And I mean, I bet I can't bring you up here with me. No, I can't. Like, the puzzle is to get Yoshi up there. Most definitely. Because Yoshi can eat a statue, no problem. Okay. I can't freeze a mushroom there. Let's... Let's look at interactions. Got it. I think I solved it. Uh, so... We put Yoshi... And basically, we're going to bring it up to heaven, gradually. There we go. Now we just gotta make sure that, you know, we get in there. It just slid right in, and there we go. As simple as that. You can even go inside this door. Okay, what's my goal now? I have no idea. So Yoshi drops there. Like, what's my end goal? Get in there, probably. Okay, I didn't expect this, so I lost my Yoshi. I'm assuming he wasn't very important. Yeah, you can't do that. However, what I can do... Like, you understand what I'm trying to put down here? Like, put down a... I don't know what I'm doing, nor why. I'm like, okay. Okay, what if my goal is to hit the block on the other side? In which case, what I would do is do this, then do that. But hit the second one. So that the third would bounce back and hit the block. Not knowing really what's going on, this is... There we go. That would land me. A star, which would let me go on this if I were to hurry. Then you got this and this. I, like, I don't know what any of that means, but a time. Did it. I'm invincible now. Because then you hurry here. But yeah, you don't really have time to do that. So. Hmm, okay. So, before I work on the star, I need to figure out what it wants from me here. No way. Like, there's no way. Make it go far enough. Yeah, I don't think I can freeze it if it's in death form. So, how do I do this? Okay, and now it's gonna go there instead. All right, got it, got it. Right idea, kinda. There's a goal, but if I touch it, I die. I need to make a wall here before me. If I just do this blindly, nothing good happens. There we go. And then hopefully... There we go! Petrification is the solution! Walking through the woods and its caverns! 
And there we go! Look at that. It doesn't look quite bad at the fortress like I wanted. Uh, but we're getting there. We might be closing a loop here. Incredible things to think about while in the shower. Dot this!